Well, the man you're about to meet always followed his mother's rules, but now that he's older, he has his own rules in Australia. Tom Pippins has the story new and only on Fox 6 News at 9. Shane McNamara is one big dude. Not surprisingly, the Whitefish Bay native was big on basketball. He played at Marquette High, Marist College, even overseas for a year in Germany. So how did McNamara become the first American to play Australian rules football? In a strange twist, Shea received a big assist from Digger Phelps, the basketball Hall of Famer. When he called me, I thought it was for like an NBA team or like some, you know, like I was like, man, this is Digger Phelps, like, you know, I'm so excited. And then uh, it was kind of fool's gold, but it was all good. <laughs> all good indeed, personally and professionally for young Mr. McNamara. He's been a great, great uh, help to me, and um, he marked me and um, really is trying to market the, uh, the American athlete. That, um, that might be a great avenue to uh, live a good life and you know, get paid. It's just as professional as anything else, uh, but it's just not in America. So even though Shea had six other offers to continue playing basketball, you might say Aussie ruled. I saw an opportunity to be the first American to actually play this sport and represent you know, not only Milwaukee, but you know, my states. And I, thought, I think that's pretty cool. It kind of hopefully paved the way for some other uh, some other lads, you know, come and follow my uh, my tails. Shea McNamara is making a name for himself and the sport in Australia. He's a central figure in a documentary called Yellow Magic, and he's using his American education to prosper while he's having a ball playing a high-scoring, action-packed game that relies on kicking to put up points and is a combination of several sports played here in the States. Marketing as far as making their brand AFL as a business larger with ESPN taking over the next few years could could dip into more advertisement more marketing and then also the talent pool I mean even if you take a small portion of America I'm sure you know You'll, you'll scoop up some other great talents. So. While the social work and psychology major makes his way down Australia's version of Madison Avenue, he wants to touch other people's lives. The relationships that you create and, you know, and will create and, and maybe motivate some kids to uh, do the right thing and, uh, and maybe give them a different life, you know, with just pursuing your dreams. I can be a motivator slash big brother, father figure to kids that have... Uh, upbringings that aren't the best and that they need that brotherly love they need that father figure and and somebody to be a role model I'm touching people's lives and they're touching mine so at the end of the day that's really what it's all about Shay has already touched a life very close to his his mother Michelle that warms my heart so you make me cry uh -huh. oh my God. We're good to I love you mama I, love, I raised him myself and being a single parent and you know, I think that's why he wants to do this and stuff, you know. Tom Pippins, Fox 6 Sports. Well, Shea scored on a 50-yard kick during a recent Aussie Rules Games. He might give Packers kicker Mason Crosby a run for his money. I'll say. A Tulsa restaurant offering to take a little off the tab for the folks who have a little off the top.